The next question from Muhammad Saud Lakhno, India. I am a student. Sir, you are a great Muslim influencer for the Ummah. So my Hindu tutor asked me that if I had only one bread and a hungry man comes and asks me for the food and we both are dying of hunger. What does Islam say in such a situation? Should I eat or should I give him? It's a very tricky question asked by the teacher of Muhammad Saud that if you are hungry and you are dying of hunger and another hungry man comes and he too is dying of hunger and you have only one piece of bread so would you eat it yourself or would you give it to the hungry man what does Islam teach you regarding the reply for such a situation is depending upon the situation if there is a hungry man who comes and I realize that he is dying of hunger and I am dying of hunger too and if we both can survive by having half loaf of the bread then I will make that bread into half give him one half and eat the other half there may be a situation that the hungry man may be a non-muslim he may not be used to hunger I am a muslim I am used to fasting and I know that maybe though I am hungry I can survive more for a couple of days and that hungry non-Muslim man he is not used to staying hungry and if he doesn't get food maybe in the next few hours he will die so what I will do I will give the complete loaf of bread to that non-Muslim man knowing very well that I'm used to fasting and I can maybe survive for the next few days and I'll pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he provide me food as soon as possible you may ask me that what is the logic behind this? The logic behind this is that Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 32, that if anyone kills any other human being, unless it be for murder or for spreading corruption in the land, it is as though he has killed the whole of humanity. This verse says, if any Muslim kills any other innocent human being, whether he be a Muslim or non-Muslim, it is as though he has killed the whole of humanity. And the verse continues. If you save any human being, it is as though you have saved the whole of humanity. This verse I do not find in any other religious scripture except the greatest Quran. That if you kill one innocent human being, you have killed the whole of humanity. That means killing any innocent human being is prohibited. It is haram. It is the second major sin in Islam. And the verse continues that if you save one innocent human being, it is as though you have saved the whole of humanity. So here, knowing very well that I'm used to fasting, I can stay hungry for a longer time, I have an opportunity, an easy opportunity of saving one human life. So if that non-Muslim who is not used to staying hungry and is dying of hunger, I will give my loaf of bread to him and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may he save me and even God forbid if I die because I have saved one human being it is as though I have saved the whole of humanity inshallah inshallah Allah will put me in Jannah hope that answers the question